Hi there, Mr. Kappas. My name is Dr. Mashoud. I'm one of the emergency medicine consultants. Uh, can you just confirm your name and age, please? I'm, I'm Kefas Mwaza. I'm 32 years old. Okay. Um, uh, Mr. Kefas, the purpose for me coming here is to, so that I can examine your uh, abdomen. Uh, will that be okay with you? Yes, it is fine. You can go ahead, doctor. For me to examine, I would like you to expose the abdomen, but I will make sure your privacy is maintained and I will turn on the curtains of the cubicle. Uh, mm. Are you comfortable or do you need any painkillers at this point? No, I'm comfortable. I don't need painkillers. Okay. Thank you. Uh, and Mr. Kapos, during this examination, I will be uh, mentioning a few things. I hope that's okay with you. Yes, it is fine. So I'm going to start off my examination by looking at your fingers. Um, and, and there's no evidence of any peripheral cyanosis. Looking at the nails, there's no evidence of any leukonychia. Um, turning the hands round, there's no evidence of any dupitrine contractures or palmar anathema. Um, Mr. Kappas, would you mind just, uh, putting your wrist in front, cocking your wrist back and extending your elbows uh, for a few seconds? I'm looking for flapping tremor. There's no evidence of any flapping tremor. I'm just going to have a feel of your pulse uh, and I'm going to measure it for 15 seconds. Okay, so the rate, uh, so the pulse looks regular at a rate of 70 per minute. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and look at your face. If you open your eyes for me, Mr. Campos, in your eyes, I'm looking at the conjunctival pallor. Uh, in this clearer, also looking for any evidence of any jaundice. Ms. Um, Gapus, will be able to open your mouth with your mouth and looking for any uh, dental hygiene. And if you stick your tongue out, and I'm going to look for any evidence of any cerebral cyanosis. I'm going to move on by having a look at your neck. Uh, I'm going to have a feel of your neck. I'm looking for the um, some mandibular lymph, lymph nodes, and then the anterior cervical lymph nodes, as well as the posterior cervical lymph nodes. There's no evidence of any lymph and endopathy. Okay. All right. Uh, and if you can just turn your head slightly towards the left, I'm looking for any evidence of JVP. No evidence of JVP. Okay. And uh, I'm going to go on, expose your chest and abdomen. In the chest, I'm looking for any evidence of gynecomastia or spider nerve. I'm exposing the abdomen. Uh, I'm having a fee. I'm going to make sure. Now, at this point, I'm going to make sure Mr. Kapos you lie flat. And I'm going to be okay. on inspection of the abdomen. I'm looking for any evidence of any uh, deformity, any evidence of any bruising. Um, there's no evidence of any bruising or deformity. So, okay. Uh, I'm going to start off by having a feel of your abdomen. I'm going to start off at the top. Let me know if there's any pain, pain there, okay? Uh, I'm doing superficial examination, palpation. There's no evidence of any pain. Uh, for the deep examination, I'm going to start off by having a feel of the liver margin. I'm going to start off at the right lower quadrant. Uh, Mr. Kevins, I would like you to take a deep breath and then exhale uh, as well, please. Take a deep breath for me and exhale. Deep breath for me and exhale. Deep breath for me and exhale. And deep breath for me and exhale. I can't feel any liver edge on the right of the quadrant. Okay, I'm gonna do the same again, Ms. Kepos. Take a deep breath for me and exhale. 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 Okay. I can't appreciate any splitting margins as well. I'm going to have a feel of the kidneys by doing a binary examination. Okay. And then we're going to have a feel for the abdominal aneurysm. There's no evidence of any problems. Uh, Mr. Kevin, I'm going to be tapping on your chest, uh, on your belly, if that's okay. And then I'm going to move you on to the left side and I'm going to have a do this again, looking for the shifting downness as well. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to just have a feel and listen to your 
uh, belly. I'm looking for abdominal aortic uh, brewing. And then I'm going to listen for the renal brewing on both sides. And also feel for the, listen for the bowel sounds. Okay, that's great, Mr. Kevos. Uh, Mr. Kevos, I would also like to finish off my examination by examining your genitalia, uh, also examining your hernial orifices, and I would also like to do a rectal examination uh, and also look at your urine, checking for infection or any evidence of any blood. Thank you very much. Uh, you can dress, uh, Mr. Kevos, if you'd like any help uh, in, uh, for me in helping you dress yourself, I'm happy to provide that as well. Okay. Please help me. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Uh, Mr. Kepos is a 32-year-old gentleman. He presented with abdominal pain. Uh, on examination, there's no um, evidence of peripheral stigmata of chronic uh, gastrointestinal disease. There's no evidence of any pallor or jaundice. All hygiene looks good. There's no evidence of any cervical infrenopathy. On inspection, there's no gynecomastia or spider nevi. On inspection of the abdomen, there's no bruising or deformity. There's no pain or superficial palpation. And I cannot feel uh, for any hepatomegaly or splenomegaly. And shifting balance is not there. And there's no renal or abdominal bruit present. Uh, I would like to finish off my examination by doing our uh, examination of the genitalia and hernial orifices, as well as doing a rectal examination and checking for the urine for urine infection, uh, leukocyte nitrate, and blood. Thank you very much. Thank you.